it's time now for the Peter Channel 2015 Year Review with Peter J. Wiggins and Robert Stevens. Good evening, everybody. I am Peter Wiggins alongside Robert, Robert Stevens, Stevens and, Robert Channel. and we're going to review 2015 a yeah. Year in Review. Yes, it was. And we will start you off in January where you and me, the usual current high yes, school sports we school usual. usual. In January 2015, yeah. me for the North Letters, you for the Hanover, Hanover and Indians, and other places too. And other places around North Near and, and the Attleboro area. And I covered it all around in January 2015 yeah, here. So did I. And meanwhile, I Hanover hockey. Meanwhile, hmm. Mother Nature was trying to make other plans in January 2015. Right. Trying to derail our plans. And in January 2015, we had no, no fun in January. Of 26 and 27, 2015. Pow! Yeah. The blizzard of 2015 barreled full, full force. Yes, it into did. Into New England. And I was busy. Yes, he was busy covering. Well, I was busy, busy digging away my car. Busy covering the storm from January 26 to 27. Yeah. As I covered the I storm covered. from every top, bottom of the storm. Provided update up yep, after did. update after update. Informer New Englanders, the blizzard of the century of 2015, as it was the worst storm of the century yes, of the 2014-15 season. That brutal. And that followed by a series of storms. But yeah, more snow. as for you, during 2015 and this winter 2015, that didn't stop me from covering the not lesser right. sports yeah, and also day trips. Sports. Yeah, and, and I was able to get to work. Me too, with the day trips and all sorts of things there. Right. And then in February 2015, mm -hmm. we were still in the heat of winter when the not lesser yeah. hockey team in the second season of existence made the MIAA playoffs so of the coach Hanover. Kyle Haggerty, and then the first round they fell to the Southeastern Hawks, which was Hanover. used to be a member of the Bayflower League along with the North until 1989. The they fell to Norwell. That's right. In March. In February 2015, but the North Lancers boys basketball yes, team, boys basketball team was had a magical team. run and they went <clears throat> to the South Sectional Finals on March yeah. the 7th, 2015, where they came. Oh, so close to having yeah, a garden no. party, but then. Old, Old Rochester, Rochester Regional derailed the really garden party's plans with a loss. Player. But despite the loss, these North Lancers boys basketball team under Coach Liberatory sure had a good, good run yes, this did. season they had here. A great run. While the girls basketball team under Coach Dan Langby was yeah, building struggled. and building yes, they were. for competition. They were struggling, yeah, but, they were, but they did it. You got to go to the banquet. Got to go to the with us, but third. Made playoffs. That's right. Head over girls That's made so the playoffs. Cool. Yeah. And in March, and also I get to cover the Wheaton Lions games. Me too. From January, February, March 2015, and in March of 2015, yeah. while you were at the town show, I went to the went taste, to the taste of, of Greater Talk, where I saw all of my talk nights there with yeah. all the Food sampled at the Taste of Greater Talk at the Holiday Inn in, yep, in to the Talk Holiday of Inn. March 2015. That's right. And also, I went to the Boys Basketball Bank with a March 19th, 2015. And it was, that was awesome here. It was. And March 10th, 2015, on a Tuesday, went to the Hockey Banquet. It was fun. I got lots of awards in March 2015. Nice. And, and now, for the spring after a brutal winter, yeah, but. I survived the winter yeah, 2015 too, but like I a hearty New Englander. Well, I'm from Puerto Rico, and we're not used to having snow. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. In March 2015, the North baseball team under Coach Curley got another season started there. Yeah, and then you turned 29 on April 12th. Yeah, I turned 29 on April 12th as the North Lancers baseball team made the playoffs. And so that we can call it softball. And we can call it softball, where I get to cover an NCAA tournament at Wheaton yeah, with too. the Wheaton Lions. And the Wheaton Lions did very, very good until they came up short. But yeah. Coach Rachel Powers and the softball team 
had a great, great, great yes, season. And so did the baseball team when we in college, we, and we got to go to their little party after the game. That's right, we got to go to the Week Lions baseball party after the game at the Wheatlands baseball and softball teams. Had good, good runs so far in 2015. Yes, they did. As same goes for North Ledger's baseball team where they had a good, good run. Yeah. And also the softball team had a greater one in which we saw a witness that 2 June 12, 2015 yes. win against Bale yeah, and the South semifinals anyway. Got a South semifinals. I saw Silver Lake softball win over Taunton. Yep. And, uh, Millish went all the way to the state final, so did Silver Lake. They both fell, though, but they both have great years. I agree with you, Robert, and yeah. also I went to the Norton Town meeting on May 11, 2015. I took lots and lots of notes. Yes, you did. And I will continue to go to the Norton Special Town meetings and the Town meetings. And also I went to the Memorial Day Parade on May yeah. 25, 2015. Yeah. I get the mark my fellow Nordites. Taking time to honor the men and women who put the lives of the country to this time. Yep, you did. And and also, on my day trip schedule, the usual day trips. Yeah. I added new day trips to the itinerary of PJ Wiggs, Braintree, Dedham South Shore Plaza, Braintree South Shore Plaza, Dedham Legacy Place, Burlington Mall, Burlington Mall, Native Mall, and then Plymouth, Portland, New Hampshire. Yeah, Portland. Portland, Maine. I went to New York. Foster, Massachusetts. Then and Washington, D.C. Newport, Rhode Island. Near. Yes, I got to go to New I told you to go to Newport, and you did. Newport, Rhode Island. That is good, along with the usual trips to Providence. Washington, D.C. this past October, too. I wrote the T in Washington. Yep, yep. Metro Rail. That's right. Yeah. Plus, I went to the yeah, North right. Public Library concerts here. Yeah, you did. And also, July 2nd, 2015, Thursday, July. I paid a visit to my so childhood home at 135 Bay Road, Norton, Massachusetts, too. after I had yeah. some lunch at the Chateau yeah, for the Chateau Norton was... Nine Lives fundraiser. It was a good, good experience to come back to where I was bred and born. That's correct. Bay Road, 135. Yep, and then you went on September 24th. Yep, September 24th, another Bay Road visit September 24th. And also, that was also July. Also, that summer, I went to the Adamer and Taunton Public Library to look up some old, old articles from Norton way back when, from the 60s to 80s. Plus, I added some bonus coverage from other towns and plus advertisements from a time way back yes, when, ranging right. from the Brockton Public Market to what was played at the yeah, Westgate Center, Center back then? Yeah, now close, close in 2001. Yeah, that's right. And also, all sorts of things are way back when I will continue to contribute to that along with Norton Mirrors from 87 on and Patriots yeah, from the 76 to 80. Yeah, and, and I love Uncovered the Past. And then in September, so we, and in September, we had another school, another school year season time. after the North Lancers graduated the class of 2015 yep, with a lots of seniors yep. put it up 12 years of hard work yes, and that's right and so I that was a good good class right, now under the 2015 16 season where it's after a, a summer of day trips it's back to the yep. grind covered North Lancers Sports and we yeah, that's right. played sports. But mine was interrupted briefly by a little health scare, but I made it through. Yep. In September 24th, 2015, I'm made September 24th, 2015, yeah, went, back to, went back to the Chateau in 135 Bay Road. Yep. And sometime cool. this year, I will try to make another visit back to my yeah, Bay Road neighborhood. Stay on Easter Sunday. That's right. Two, play, two times for you to go. That's April Easter Sunday and went by my Bay Road house on the way back from the Chateau after church. That's right. Easter Sunday 2015. Here. That's right. And, and church, then right. the Not Letters that. Girls Soccer also made the playoffs before fall the Seacock. Yeah. And the Not Letters Boys and Girls Soccer Supreme Track State oh, yeah, Title. Champion. Yeah. Forgot about that. Yeah. And, and, and the volleyball team 
had a little iffy season after yeah, making this. Yeah, they were struggling. Yeah, they, they didn't was, make the tournament, but they still had an okay tournament. They still had an yeah. oh, okay season here. They had a good year because they lost a lot of seniors yeah, that they previous did, they year. Did. Yeah, they so were it hard. was a rebuilding year for the volleyball team. But North Ledger's boys soccer team. Oh, oh my! You with them. What you a with them. run. They went all the way and they took the whole thing. They went all the way. Stop and top. The Lancers boys soccer team barreled throughout the competition here yes, and they did. that state final D3 against Douglas on November 21st, 2015. Boy, that was a biggest assignment in my life. And Wolf Ritter really got him a state three title yeah, and D3 a police title. escort on the yeah, way I back to too. the North High School from Douglas yeah. after hard work earns a state title and the North Lancers football team had a Little good season here. They did. Yes, and they had a little well, good season. Won again, though. And September, I and also September, October, November, I did my usual day trips. And October yeah. 22nd, 2015, I got to visit the new Wegmans at Westwood. Yeah, and I, I went in inside. And too. it was enormous. Oh, no, you bet it is. It was Especially awesome. The food court. The food and court. And have souvenirs too. And all sorts of souvenirs for Wegmans in yeah. Westwood. So that was an experience to remember for Wegmans. And I will continue to go yeah, there a me lot. Too. Me too. You bet your life I will go too. And in November. Often. And in Thanksgiving I celebrated with Dale and Christy up in Billwicka. Connecticut. Yep. In Connecticut here. And... The, and November, and I did my mall patrol, and I visited Native Mall so November seventeenth. Emerald Square Mall, South Shore Plaza. And I visited the Emerald right. Square Mall in South Shore Plaza, along with December third. Visited December third. Visited South Shore Plaza, December. And Silver City Gallery, I went to. And Silver City Gallery Mall, and also December tenth. Mm -hmm. I went oh, back to the Wegmans, mm -hmm. and I had lunch with Dan Winiers at Lexi Place, and Denim was fun. Yep, you did. Yep. And I had a good, good Christmas. Me too. Spent with a friends and family I love. And we all went field, yeah. to the um, and all we all went to the to the Norton Tree lighted at the yeah, common. It was too. beautiful. And I yes. took lots of photos and videos, and it was awesome here. Yeah. And the Not Lancers boys basketball team and girls basketball team are back in yeah. the season, but they will find their groove. Yeah, they will. And, and the Northern Lens is with the strike and hockey. And Hanover Girls basketball is undefeated, might I add. Boys basketball is doing good. That's good. That is Hanover good. Hanover hockey is doing great, might I add. That's good. I hope they go deep in the tournament this year. That's good. Go Indians. And, and go Mansers. Yes. yes. And yes. North Attleboro and Mansfield Girls basketball is doing great. They'll be meeting each other Monday. Yeah. And to cap off the year, Mansfield basketball defeated for Toronto Arenum, 72 to 34. Wow, that's a big H score. Tracking, yes. And the North Lancers wrestling team oh, continues to do good. 63 to 3 over Mansfield. How about that? That's right. And also, I get to go to a couple of little meetings at the town hall meetings and yeah, to see what is going on. Took some notes here and reported it since the North Mirror newspaper is no longer in existence. Yeah. I have took it over for so them it over. very, yeah, very so well. camera now. Yep. Yeah. And with that, that concludes the 2015 year in review with Robert Stevens and Peter Wiggins. Yes, boy, what a 2015 we had. Yeah. What more we could yeah, have in 2016. Be for me, by the way. You're going to be 40 be tomorrow, and I'll be 30. 30. Well, Peter's big one. That's going to be the Peter Monday Channel 2015 year review with. Yours truly, Peter Wick, it's Robert Stevens. Robert Stevens. Good night! Good night, Happy New Year, folks. Happy New Year! It's on Grill in North Attleboro. I'll be there broadcasting with my video cameras. I take video. Good night! Take care. Good night!